Welcome to What's New with Wikis at Evergreen, the 1.20 upgrade. My name is Amy Green, I'm Academic Computing at the Evergreen State College. And this video is intended for Evergreen staff and faculty who will be administering their own wikis. But it's also relevant for folks who will be just simple content contributors as well. In this video, we're going to be looking at some of the new features of MediaWiki 1.20. We'll also be taking a look at some of the new interface design elements of the new Evergreen MediaWiki skin. We'll also take a look at some of the new extensions that are now available for wikis at Evergreen. Let's go ahead and get started by looking at a newly upgraded wiki. Right now we're looking at Evergreen's Computing Help Wiki. In fact, we're looking at a page that outlines the new features that are available. As you can see, the skin or the theme for wikis at Evergreen uh, has changed dramatically. Uh, we're introducing the new Evergreen logo and color palette in this skin. Um, you'll also notice that we have lost the sidebars of uh, our previous skin. I'll go ahead and pull up the past, the last iteration of our MediaWiki skin and what you'll notice is that we had a sidebar uh, that had all kinds of things, um, primarily your navigation, any custom navigational elements here, and then uh, the toolbox and the views which were used uh, for content providers. Views primarily was used, if you were logged in, you would, this is where you would go to edit the page. That's all changed. And if we look now at our new skin, all of that content has been moved up into the top nav bar up here. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new ways that we're going to interact with our wikis uh, in this top bar navigation. Over to the right we have the page button and if you click on it you'll see that we have things like this will link to the page, viewing the discussion, viewing the source, this is because I'm not logged into this wiki yet, or the history. So uh, once we log in, we'll be able to then use this button to do all sorts of other features, including editing our page. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and log into this wiki. From the Create Account button, I'll click on the drop-down and choose Login. We're still using uh, our central authentication service here, so CAS. And once you're logged in, you'll notice that our Page button now has more options. Um, in this case I now have the edit button. Primarily this is where you'll go to edit your page. So we have our page edit button, we have our account or login button, the search tool has been is still here in the top bar and notice our toolbox is here as well. So this is where we would go to upload files or access the special pages. Okay so all that content that previously used to be here on the sidebar has now been relocated to the top bar. And one of the advantages of getting all that content off the sidebar is now our readers don't have to navigate all that administrative cruft on the sidebar. Instead, they get to focus on our article's content. The new Evergreen MediaWiki skin does support all modern browsers. We have found, though, if you are going to be a frequent editor, we recommend using the Chrome browser. The new Evergreen MediaWiki skin is based on the Twitter Bootstrap project. And what that means is that um, out of the box, it is responsive. So it will look good on a variety of devices. And you'll see if I resize the screen, uh, if I make it really big, it adds margins on the side, looks good. And if we make it smaller, what begins to happen is notice the top bar collapsed so this would be, for example, on um, a phone. And here, then I get the expansion to view the top nav bar. Okay, so this is a fluid design that adjusts to look good on all devices, phones, large screens, tablets, and regular computers. So let's go ahead and dig in and look at some of the new features of MediaWiki. And I think one of the long-awaited uh, new features has been the incorporation of a wiki editor, more of a graphical wiki editor, into MediaWiki. And if we take a look and edit this page, so from the Page button I'll choose Edit, what you'll see is this is the, wiki, the new wiki editor. 
this looks familiar. We have the bold and italic. Anytime you want to add bold or italic to something, you just select it and choose bold. But the new part to the wiki editor is what's available under the advanced tab. So if we expand advanced, what you'll see is a new level of editing options arise. And here now we can add heading levels, bullets, numbered bullets, indentation, uh, etc. Okay, so just if you want to find out what something does, just hover over it and a tooltip will appear. This, for example, would be the button to insert a table using the wiki syntax. So these buttons will insert the wiki syntax for you. Okay, it does not give you a what you see is what you get like a word processing document. It's still, you're still looking at wiki syntax, but these buttons are here to help you if you can't remember what that syntax is. In addition to these buttons, there's also a built-in help. And if I expand that, this shows you essentially what the wiki syntax is and then what you get with that syntax. So for bold, for example, I could see that three ticks will get me bold text, and this is what that looks like. Uh, if, I want, if I'd forgotten what the syntax was for creating an internal link, I can look it up here. All right, so use the built-in help to refresh or learn some of the wiki syntax that's available to you. All right, go ahead and close that up. And I didn't make any changes, so I'm just gonna go back to the page. I don't have to save my changes. So we talked about this top nav bar, and I know for many folks, they do like the option of adding customized menus and navigation. Um, and so this is your choice. You can choose not to. By default, you'll get the main link to your main page with your wiki's title, the toolbox search bar. But if you do want to add additional links, for example, we have here a navigational element called about with then a drop down menu for linking to other pages, uh, either within the site or external to the site. If you want to do that, if you want to add your own custom navigation to your wiki, you're going to need to go to a special page in the MediaWiki namespace. Um, so that page is MediaWiki colon bootstrap hyphen navbar. I'll go ahead and open that up for the computing help wiki and you can see how we have customized this top navbar uh, with our elements. I had mentioned that, that the new uh, Evergreen MediaWiki skin is based on Twitter bootstrap and one of the features that that gives us uh, that we've always struggled with before is the ability for multi-column layouts. And typically, what, this page that we're looking at here, this is a single column layout. If we take a look at the evaluation help template, this is a template or a page that we created to sort of help guide our new tutorials. You'll notice that this is actually a two column layout. Here we have the main column, content area, and then a sidebar. So that should cover most of what's due in the MediaWiki skin. Let's talk now about some of the new extensions that are available. And the extensions in MediaWiki, these provide um, added functionality to the MediaWiki core. One of the new extensions available is the Collapsible Elements extension. And if we take a look uh, back at the Evaluation Help template page, you'll notice that uh, we have a uh, button called Show More with the plus icon. If you click that, now we are able to expand the uh, content area to show additional information. Uh, and once it's expanded, it turns into a show less, so this is, becomes a toggle. Uh, another new extension uh, is called, it's called Fancy Box Thumbs, and this is a Lightbox style image overlay. And let me just show you an example of what this looks like. Here's a page that has uh, image thumbnails. And so one of the challenges we've had with adding images to our pages is typically they have to be pretty small to fit on the page and make room for all the text. And so in the past when you clicked on an image it brought you to the image page itself and you would actually you would lose where you were. You would lose the original page you were on. So now when we click on an image it gives you an image overlay. So the image is there. And in fact, if there are multiple images on the page, it defaults to be in a gallery mode. So I can essentially scroll through multiple images on the page and see an image gallery and then close out the images. 
So this is on by default. There's nothing you need to do save add an image to your page and it will behave with this lightbox style behavior. Another really interesting new extension that we've added is called the dynamic article list. And an example of this can be found at our new evaluation help uh, landing page. And this plugin allows us to dynamically pull content and make a listing. This is the dynamic article list here in the right hand column. And it allows us to essentially make a listing of the most popular content um, by category. So for this category of evaluations, uh, we're seeing the most popular content based on page views. But you can also specify new articles that have been created in that category or articles that have been newly updated in that category. So this can be great for a landing page if you want to help readers find new content or popular content. In the way there is documentation on how to do this uh, in the help wiki and I would recommend just using that sparingly on key landing pages uh, throughout your site. All right, that in a nutshell gives you a pretty good introduction to what's new with MediaWiki at Evergreen for summer of 2013 using MediaWiki version 1.20. Um, I hope this information is useful. Make sure to look through our help wiki here at wikis.evergreen.edu slash computing. There is a lot that we're continuing to write here in the media wiki section about using wikis at Evergreen. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed the new features and if you have any questions about working with wikis here at Evergreen, feel free to contact the folks in academic computing. They're happy to assist. <laughs>